everyone just go back to Lisbon and it's a sunny November day at 19 degrees today. It feels like such a gift and a treat just to come back, especially compared to London when it was uh, a month ago. I was super burnt out. I think mainly just because of the weather. Um, ever since I came back last week, I just felt like my soul and my whole body has been healed. I'm finally starting to feel like myself again. It just feels like all of those small things in life actually make such a huge difference in our body and our mind. It just feels like all of those smallest things in life actually can make a huge difference in our mental health, in our physical health, and in our day-to-day -day life. And so today, I just want to share three things that actually is free. The three best things in life that we almost always overlook, um, but they can play a huge impact in our mental health, especially when life feels tough. First and foremost, of course, it's the sunlight. I think sometimes we take it for granted. For me, uh, as someone who grew up in the southern part of China and I always have the sunlight, no matter whether it's the winter or in the summer, and I sort of take it for granted. And it's amazing how after actually I experienced those dark, long winter in the northern part of the world, then I realized actually I am just like a plant I needed sunlight uh, to function and I sort of feel like I, I don't know whether you're the same but these days I just walk around in the city and I just stand there under the sun to make sure to just enjoy the warmth wrap around me it feels like a hug from an old friend and it's just nice it feels like all the pain points in my body has been softened and my mind, my mental space has been expanded. And it almost feels like the sunlight has given me this new energy to look forward to a new day. Like every day in the evening, I'll be like, tomorrow when I wake up, it's another nice day. And I know even if a day is tough, when I go outside and enjoy the sun, it will be nice. I realize this is not actually free but i think uh, whenever we have a chance to actually go outside we should just give ourselves this permission when the tight days are tough just to go outside enjoy the sunlight a little bit or if you can take a day or two just to go somewhere that with a lot of sun just take a trip and so then that actually helps and the best thing is the sun is so generous. If you're at the right place, if you have the capacity just to travel a little bit, to have things to look forward to, it's actually free. The next part is nature and fresh air. I think a lot of studies actually have shown that just a walk in the nature next to the park actually can give us a lot of a boost in energy and it calms our mind down and also it will solve a lot of our mental problems as well. Like just five minutes to walk in a park. And a lot of people have said also in the morning, if you walk in the nature and you walk under the sunlight, it actually wakes you up. Uh, Lisbon has a lot of parks, like uh, there is a park nearby, it's, it's the Estrella Park a Garden, I used to go there a lot. The fresh air is something that we sometimes overlook, because when we have that, we always think that that's natural, but you actually feel the difference when you're in a city like Lisbon. I came back and so every day I just smelled the freshness in the air, and when I was here in the spring, actually, every day smells like flowers, the city. It's just so nice. But this is something we can actually create for ourselves. We can create a routine um, in our day-to-day, -day, for example. If you work in the office, and if you have a park or some kind of natural things nearby you can always go to a park you can always go near the waterfront in the past when i was working in hong kong we actually have a great view of the harbor it only takes like five minutes for me to go downstairs to take my coffee and sometimes i would just stand in front of the harbor just to decompress and just to take a break from work and it always actually makes the work a little bit better after I go back as well. But this is sort of like a privilege but if you can make that happen it doesn't charge you at anything. All you need is a structure in place for you to be able to enjoy that and that's it for the nature and fresh air. And finally the third thing is connection. So I've been only been back in Lisbon for a week. It feels surreal that almost feels like I will be the one who tell everyone welcome to Lisbon and people will be like welcome back, we miss you. And all of those connections are so natural and genuine in a way. It warms my heart and it makes me feel like combined with the sun, the nature and fresh air, it just makes me feel like this is the greatest 
gift in life. I said that it's free, but actually it takes us a little bit of effort to make that happen. I was completely new to this neighborhood and to Lisbon as a city when I first came here, but it takes actually just a more accessible way to approach people, to show up in life. Like every single day I'm collecting a new friend. It feels like everyone is very open-minded and move here from somewhere else. Maybe because, because of the weather, it's also easier for people just to say hi to each other. But I think that's the things that we can actually make make it happen for ourselves. A lot of the times when we have a mental breakdown or when we feel like there's a lot of burnout in life, it's usually just because we feel isolated, we feel lonely, and we don't know whether we still have friends in life. And actually, if you just step outside of your comfort zone just a bit, a little bit, tiny bit, then you can actually reach out to a lot of people. Like I bump into friends every day now. Like last week I went to the web summit and then this, this friend, he just show up out of nowhere and he's like, hey Nidia. And it's just so nice to have all of those three combined. The sun that gives you the energy, the nature that gives you the space, and the friends who give you the connections and the most important things in life, which is human interactions and genuine connections. And that's it. That's today's video. It's super short. It's simple and easy. I love the weather today. I first feel like it's such a nice day, so I wanted to record this video. I wanted to share this best three things that are free in life that can help us to combat some of the toughest days in life. If you feel like you're alone in life, if you don't have anyone that you wanted to talk to, you can always leave a comment down below. We have a nice community here and if you are going through something really tough, I hope that you can find a solution very very quickly and don't forget about the natural things that are free in life if you stick around i think life always have a way to catch us we fall into life not fall through life if you like this video please give it a like and it really helps the channel a lot and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe for more contents like this simple and easy ways to live lives and create the best memories and i will see you next time this is lydia i'm an investment banker turned entrepreneur i usually split my time up between london and lisbon i wanted to spend more time under the sun in the winter that's who i am what's your ideal life how do you usually spend your winter time and how do you find joy in day-to-day -day life share in the comments down below with us and i'll see you next time